I got into tattooing um, just because I've always drawn and I've always been in different art classes. I've done outside of school art classes, stuff like that. Um, and then it started off as like designing people's tattoos and they would pay me for that and then eventually it just progressed to like my brother bringing it to my attention one day and he was just like, oh, you know you can do this yourself, right? And I was like, okay, maybe I can. But yeah, that's pretty much how I got into it. How did you get started with this finger? With this finger, um, my uncle and my boom and Boomer have been best friends since like as long as I can remember, because I was like a baby. And so I always kind of like knew he had the shop and I like was always really amazed by all the artists here and everything. And so I just walked in with my portfolio and I talked to Courtney and uh, I showed her my stuff and she liked it and here I am. Do you have a favorite style that you like to tattoo? I do. I like to do like American traditional, uh, some neo-traditional is cool. Um, just colors, bold lines. I like to do like little names and like cursive, um, maybe some script here and there, but not anything that I have like, I mean, I think they're fun, but I wouldn't like do it as like my whole style type of thing. When you did your first tattoo, how did that go? Can you tell us a little bit about your first tattoo? Like on person or yeah. on skin? Um, so the first one was on my sister. It was on the bottom of her foot. Not the bottom of her foot, like kind of like the side, almost the bottom. But it was a smiley face. It was like a dot, a dot, and a smile. And like, I think only half the mouth is there now. <laughs> so, <laughs> tells you how that went. <laughs> What did it feel like the first time, personally, like to you when you were tattooing your skin for, for the first time? For me personally, the first time tattooing was super nerve-wracking. Um, considering it's on my sister, it was like she's here for life, so of course she's just gonna talk shit for life. <laughs> and so there's a lot of pressure, but I just kind of like pushed through. I was like, you know what? Like it. Let's do it. Let's run it. <laughs> Do you have an end goal with uh, your apprenticeship? Like, do you aspire to be a full-time tattoo artist or when you're in the shop? Or I do. I do um, kind of like, I don't know about owning my own shop. I know there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I mean, I see Boomer and, do it, and Courtney do it all the time and it's crazy. Um, sometimes I don't know how they do it. <laughs> But uh, definitely want to be able to get to the point to where I can like travel maybe out of country, kind of like see different places, see where my art takes me. And then do you have any advice for anybody out there that's looking to do an apprenticeship or? Don't start at home. <laughs> Saves you a lot of time. I started in my kitchen for almost a year in my apartment. It definitely saves time starting in a shop. Instagram handle is tat by Anna, T A T T S B Y A N N A. <laughs>